We've got a method here that says throw if not Gary, and if the name isn't Gary, it's going to throw an exception. We've also caught it to write it out to the console. Now, I wonder if you can spot the issue with this. So if we go throw if if not Gary and use the name Steve and run the app with a debugger, that's great. It says exception not Gary. That's what we expected. But if we uh, double check where it's actually thrown the exception, it's thrown it here on line 10, which is not where the exception happened. Now, if you had this in your app and you were looking at a stack trace on a logging system, you'd be in trouble here because the line number would be wrong. Absolutely, totally wrong. So what you need to do is stop this, close this, scroll up. And what we see here is people rethrowing the caught exception, which is not what you are supposed to do. You need to delete this. If you just do throw, look what happens. F5. Not Gary, that's what we expect to see, but it's actually throwing the exception here where the original exception actually happened. So what you need to make sure you don't do is do a throw exception within the catch block. You will get in trouble.